What's going on? This is Jay the Prophet, and today the Young Thug Rico trial starts. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think Young Thug did it and did everything? The 181 acts. And I believe there's around eight charges he's facing right now. And if he just gets one charge, Mr. Young Thug will be going down for 20 years. A life sentence? Possibility for parole after 30 years is not looking too positive for him. If he did the crime, he did the crime, right? If not, if not. And that's what the justice system is supposed to prove. So let's start out on the justice system. So apparently there's been this clip going around of the judge reading Young Thug's, um, Young Thug's lyrics from a song, Slime Shit. YSL released a song on YouTube titled Slime Shit, where the lyrics state, hey, this is that slime shit, hey, YSL shit, hey, killing 12 shit, hey, fuck a jail shit, hey, cooking white brick, I'm not new to this, hey, so I'm, I'm not new to this, hey, I'm so true to this, hey. I done put up a whole slime of a hundred licks, slime or get slime. I'm in the VIP and I got that pistol on my hip. You praying that you live, I'm praying that I hit, hey, this, that slime shit. Fuck, fuck the police, fuck them in a high speed, hundred rounds in a Tahoe, I'm prepared to take them down, got banana clips. For all these niggas acting monkey, this that slime shit, this that mob shit. Fuck the judge, YSL, this that mob life. So we heard that. When the judge is reading it, it definitely does raise some hairs. But when you're hearing it on a on a beat, you know that what ninety six. BPMs, whatever. It don't hit like that. So let's move on. So the judge, we have the clip of the judge reading the song lyrics, and everybody was wondering why the judge is reading the song lyrics, right? So apparently the prosecution has put together a 100-page something, and a 100-page document for the judge to read. And you ask, who is the judge reading it, or why is he reading it? Okay, he's reading it to be recorded. Then you ask, who is the recording for? So apparently, the recording's for the potential jurors. So they're bringing in hundreds of jurors, interviewing them. They're playing the 80-minute tape of the judge reading the 100-page document which includes the song lyrics. Why would a potential jury need to hear the song lyrics prior to the trial? Young Thug's artists have all took and plead ills. A lot of them are out right now. So we'll see how all this plays out. Are they gonna testify against them? Are we gonna see Baby testifying against them? I heard Lil Wayne can be called up there to testify against them. Future can be called up there to testify against them. I mean, this could be like the BET Awards. All right, so let's hear a little bit more about what's going on in the courthouse. It's like 80 pages, 100 pages. He's just reading it. It takes about three to three and a half hours to watch the judge read this indictment. The indictment contains the song lyrics, including F the judge, all that. Let's talk about a criminal trial. Let's talk about the idea that what's supposed to happen is impartial jurors come into court they're not supposed to know anything about the case or have any preconceived ideas about the case and evidence is supposed to be presented to them. In this case, the first thing that these potential jurors, every juror will have done is listen to the judge, read them for three and a half hours, a document written by the prosecutor, which includes song lyrics of a gangster rapper. You heard that? Man, it's pretty much what it boils down to. Why you have to add the extras on top? The man's already going to go down. When we see it, he catches one case, he's going down for 20 years. The young thug did have a list of 181 acts, and this dates back to 2013, right? And the young thug has been out for about, about that time. 
or maybe a little bit before that. You know, we'll look it up. But yeah, so this is the RICO charge for Young Thug. In May, authorities arrested and charged Williams, Jeffrey Williams, with conspiracy to violate Georgia's RICO Act. So I believe that there was some sort of a some sort of phone call. A lot of Young Thug's artists, we see that they have snitched or took a plea deal. Even the judge is poking fun at that, to where the judge was warning the people in the courtroom not to link information. Saying that he would know because they're snitches. And we know that already. We're not sure if he's actually picking fun at the quote unquote snitches or he, he's just being factual and like he's going to know if the information gets out. But a lot of people took it as it was a, a low blow to all the uh, YSL plea deal takers. I feel like we'll learn a lot about the trial as far as um young thug and what his or what isn't his role in this rico act the the information we get may be shocking for some reason i feel like the result where a man goes to jail for 20 years if he gets one charge and that's already written in stone they unless they just blow the whole thing out of water he gets a mistrial for building the case by using his song lyrics but it doesn't apply to all forms of entertainment it doesn't apply to any other form of entertainment. That's the only one where what you say in your song, in your performance, the wild things you say to sell that song is evidence.